In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Take this opportunity to welcome all of you who are joining us uh, through our live stream for the recorded Mass as we celebrate the 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time. My name is Father Nate Kuhn, the Director of Vocations for the Diocese of La Crosse, and joining with me are the seminarians in our journey program. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we take a moment to call to mind our sins and to ask God for his mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on Amen. earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. When one finds a worthy wife, her value is far beyond pearls. Her husband, entrusting his heart to her, has an unfailing prize. She brings him good and not evil all the days of her life. She obtains wool and flax and works with loving hands. She puts her hands to the distaff, and her fingers ply the spindle. She reaches out her hands to the poor, and extends her arms to the needy. Charm is deceptive and beauty fleeting. The woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her a reward for her labors, and let her works Praise her at the city gates. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Ble Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed, blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like all your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. 
Behold, thus is the man who is blessed, who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come, like a thief at night, when people are saying, Peace and security. Then sudden disaster comes upon them, like labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness for that day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us stay alert and sober. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. As the Lord, whoever remains in me will in me bears much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one, he gave five talents. To another, two. To a third, one. To each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who had received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you are faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you are faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter? Should you not have put my money in the bank so that I could have it 
have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one who has ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. But for the, from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The parable that Jesus presents to us in our gospel is one that we are familiar with, perhaps, that the Lord gives to us things that are valuable, but at the end of the day are considered relatively small. But he entrusts these things to us according to our ability in order for us to put them to work, to use them to better our life and the life around us. And so if we do not use what we have been given, then at the end of the day, as Jesus says, even what we have will be taken away because it wasn't valuable, it was worthless, and we might as well not have received it to begin with. Oftentimes this is kind of a difficult and challenging point to this parable. So what is it that we have that is valuable? What is it that we stake our value in? The Lord provides us with kind of a, a sense of that as he gives us this life that we have. He gives us his love. And upon that love, he invites us to share that love with one another. Our beautiful first reading talks about that love in its uh, a very common but very powerful form. The love that exists between a husband and a wife. A love that is life-giving. A love that values the dignity of the other. A love that really transforms and, and brings other people together and makes them better because of it. This is a love that is worth significant value because it is a participation in the love of God. It is what God has given us that we then act upon in order to enrich our life, to grow in our faith, and to spread that to other people. But there are other things in life that are valuable, things that we perhaps you know, put higher in kind of the, the scale of what is we're going to put effort in or not. I'm reminded of a story that I often share when I read these readings. There's a man in Michigan who bought this piece of land, and as he was kind of taking a tour from the previous owner, he noticed that there was this unique-looking rock at the door of the barn. And he asked him about it, and he said, well, you know, we found it out in the field. We think it might be an asteroid. We're not sure. And just kind of passed it over. Well, the man purchased the farm, went and said, I need to figure out what this is. And here it was, uh, in fact, a meteor, a meteorite that had landed. And the value of this big rock that really was just simply used to hold the door of the barn was worth tens of thousands of dollars. And here it was sitting there on the ground something of immense value that was simply overlooked. One of the things that we can kind of get caught up in is value in material things as human beings. You know, we place a lot of time and effort and energy into collecting these material things when at the end of the day, that's all they are. They don't point us toward our final goal, which is heaven. So to reevaluate and to really consider what is a value that we have that God has given us that will lead us to our final end, that will lead us to heaven. And then take the time and effort to cherish those, to value those, and to be appreciative and thankful for what God has given us. And now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit 
was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Beloved, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for all in need. For those who do not yet believe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For good weather and fruits of the earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of our diocese, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we come before you with faith and love to praise your goodness and to acknowledge our need. We ask you to hear the prayers we make in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. name that angels prostrate fall. Bring forth a royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Bring forth a royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and, may, and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. God. St. Michael, the, the Archangel, Archangel, defend us in battle. Be, be our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Welcome as we gather together to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. I am so happy that you have joined us and I continue to pray with you and with all the members of our diocese as we pray for the sick and we pray for your families and your friends. God bless you and thank you for your support of the Sunday Mass. <laughs>